Here's a quick demonstration of the radio propagation and jamming analysis on the Mission Rehearsal Toolbox. In this mission, I have a surface ship and an MQ-9 Reaper about 25 miles away at 25,000 feet. This analysis will work for any radio that uses the electromagnetic spectrum. For this quick demonstration, I'm going to show the propagation of a Link 16 radio and the effect of several ground-based jammers upon that propagation. I'm just going to open the properties of this Link 16 radio so that I can get some of the numbers to use within the Mission Rehearsal Toolbox. The key value that I need for this demonstration is the receiver sensitivity. I open the Mission Rehearsal Toolbox by right-clicking on the platform under Analysis and selecting the Mission Rehearsal Toolbox from the Context menu. Select the ESM Radio tab. Pick the Link 16 radio from the list of emitters on the platform. Now select the altitude of the receiving platform, in this case the MQ-9. Select a sensible drawing range for the plot and enter that sensitivity value we found from the radio properties earlier. Now we draw the radio propagation, firstly without any jamming. I'm now entering power on each of the jammers stationed around the island. Switching each of those jammers on immediately shows the effect on the propagation. Using the platform list here, you can add a jammer to any platform listed. Just enter the jammer power and optionally the antenna height for the jammer in the list and then switch it on. So when we zoom out now we can see the area where you get good signal which is in green and the area that's jammed which has no color and then the fringes that are in red and orange. Here's a few more examples using different parameters on the different jammers, such as antenna height and minimum jammer to signal ratio.